State of Origin Game 2 is tomorrow, and it's time to bring back the Rugby League Life Force Simulation. Now, last time, the New South Wales Blues won Game 1. Obviously, it didn't mean anything because they lost in real life. But I still thought it'd be fun to put these two sides against each other on Rugby League Life 4 and see who the game thinks going to win. Now, Queensland, thank you. You saved me a lot of time and effort. I didn't have to make too many changes to the side, but New South Wales... God damn, why so many changes? It took me ages. Regardless though, I've got both teams ready to go on Rebel League Live 4. Let's take a look at the game. So as you can see, the game is loaded up. It'll only let me pick between Suncorp and ANZ. Obviously, the game's played at Perth, but just for this video, we're playing at ANZ. We also have veteran difficulty, nine minute halves, everything else is state of origin standard. So let's go. So here we go. State of origin, game two, the New South Wales Blues, the Queensland Maroons. Here we have the Queensland team. Once again, the cinematic entrance. As you can see, Daly Cherry Evans leading them out. Michael Morgan there on the screen. Pretty good likenesses in my opinion, but um, yeah, Jersey's not so much, but Boyd Cordner, um, he's leading them out. I will say, obviously the Blues aren't going to be playing in this jersey as far as I know. I think they're playing in their Navy jersey, but I didn't have it on the game. But you can see here, here's the Queensland lineup. It's a pretty good lineup. Um, they did a lot better than what I thought they would. Dylan Napper, maybe a little bit of a weak link, apparently got a broken hand, which is a pretty big thing for a forward, so... We'll see how he goes in real life. Obviously, on the game, doesn't affect him at all. He is the blue side. Boy corner leading them out. That's a pretty good back line um, on paper anyways. How they'll actually play in real life, we don't know. But Daniel Safidi is a big weakness for me. But, hey, it is what it is. The rest of the side, though, pretty darn strong. Um, Cameron Murray, great on the bench. Wade Graham there. I'm pretty happy with that side. So here we go. State of Origin, Rugby League Live 4. Game 2 underway. Callum Ponga gets us going. Come on, New South Wales. Even on this game, I want them to win. Remember, New South Wales kind of controlled the first game pretty well on Rugby League Live 4. It'll be interesting to see whether they can do the same on Game 2. But I don't know. I don't think they will. Look at Queensland straight away. Corey Yates breaking the fence. Oh, Corey Yates is going to score. Is he going to score? Oh, Adokar. Here comes Adokar. Josh Adokar saving the day for New South Wales as he does. Oh, make the tackle. Oh, Matt Gillett has scored. Matt Gillett has scored. So, so easy. Corios gets him off to a great start there. And Matt Gillett finishes the job. They're giving it no try there. I don't know why. It's obviously a try. And Queensland open the scoring here. There we have it. There's the green lights. Queensland up. 4-0. Kick to come. Caleb Ponga should be kicking this one as well. So, 6-0 to Queensland early on. I totally forgot I can't skip any of the animations because I'm not playing. But Caleb Ponga kicks the goal. There we go. 6-0 Queensland. Oh, forward pass. There we go. That's what you want to see. Ben Hunt, not a renowned hooker, throws the forward pass. Right, go. A great opportunity for New South Wales to strike. I think they need to get the ball to Tedesco or Tom Trebojevic on this game. They're just leaf lacing. See there, Tom Trebojevic, first touch, gets around the defender. Need more touches from him. Queensland defending well. Come on, Jake Trebojevic. Is he going to force his way over? Yes, he is. Oh, he's held up, though. That's unlucky. That's very unlucky. Matt Gillard up the other end, falls over the line. Jake Trebojevic held up for the Blues, though. So they've got to play set up here. Yes, they do. They go for the ball to Tedesco. Tedesco hits the gap and scores. Easy stuff there for New South Wales. And just like that, the Blues back in the game. Big error from Queensland. Um, ben Hunt, I don't think you'll see that in real life. I don't think you'll see Tedesco scoring a try like that in real life either. But on the game, I'll take it. Pretty similar position to what Caelan Ponga kicked his goal from. But Nathan Cleary slots it over. And now it's 6-all. Nathan Cleary. Okay, they're going to kick early. Oh, that is a shocking kick. Nathan Cleary. Oh, big hit from the Blues, but into the gap. Matt Gillett is going to score a second try. Matt Gillett scores. Big hit from the Blues on absolutely nobody. Goes straight to the ground. Wow, that is a disaster. Can any of these teams complete a set? At the moment, it's just like one team scores, then they get like to the first or second tackle, give away the ball, and then the other team goes and scores, and then they also do the same thing and just give it away, and then the other team scores. It's just, it's really annoying actually, but Callum Ponga kicks the goal, and Queensland have a six-point lead yet again. Going to the left. Oh, there we go. Once again, another forward pass from Ben Hunt. That's what I'm saying. No team can complete a set. That's right. Be like, glad for for you. Okay, finally, someone's gotten through a set here. The Blues dropped the ball. Oh, my God. So close to being a try there. Maloney dropped the ball. It got tackled at the same time. And it is a handover. Kalaponga with the ball. This is dangerous. Stepping through the middle there against Jake Jaboyevich. That is a bit of a mismatch there. Okay, they're going back through the middle here. Okay, that's a knock-on. There you go. Knock-on, no advantage. I called that one. Another chance to strike from the scrum. This time, they just give it to Tedesco. He doesn't even step. Doesn't even do nothing. Fifth and last. Can the Blues actually put together a fifth tackle? Uh, they didn't last time. What are they going to do now? They just launch up a shitty bomb. 
Ponga gonna get the ball here, and he stepped through. Po Callum Ponga is away. Callum Ponga is going to score. What's up with Queensland and making these line breaks and kick returns? This is ridiculous. Queensland are gonna hit the lead. Well, not gonna hit the lead. They're gonna extend the lead. Callum Ponga, what a player. 16 to 6, hit the come from in front. He won't be missing that one, so it will be a 12 point lead to Queensland. New South Wales have had two sets on the Queensland line, haven't been able to produce anything, and Queensland have just hit straight back. First opportunity they get. That's just Queensland for you. Even on video games, they come up with bullshit annoying tries. Okay, Moses and Byers on. He's back in the forwards. No utility for the Blues, though. So that could be an area the Blues could exploit. This is a rugby league level, though. So probably not. Okay, fifth tackle. Surely they're going to hit Cherry Evans. No, they don't. They go to Josh Maguire. Puts in a kick. Probably not who you want to see kicking. Oh, Aaron Carr gets through the first player. Tackle by Callum Ponga. An important tackle there. Oh, my God. Nathan Cleary, what are you doing, mate? Just runs through the gap. And then gets through the gap and then just passes it straight to Moses Umbai. Fifth and last, what can Queensland do? They give it to Cameron Munster. That's not a bad kick. Tedesco will get under it though. Okay, it was a bad kick. This is dangerous. Corey Oates right in half time. Gets around the first player. Corey Oates is away. Okay, they make the tackle. New South Wales actually make the tackle this time. That takes us to half time. 18-6 at half time. New South Wales have a mountain of work to do. I just need to check the stats here because I think New South Wales will have the better stats, just not on the scoreboard. Okay, that's not what I expected. Time of possession, 52 to 48. Not that different. Uh, Queensland have more sets. Um, they also have more errors though. Uh, they've also made more tackles, but the line breaks 7 to 2. Queensland destroyed New South Wales, and that Corey Oates himself is killing them. Nathan Cleary to get the second half underway. Come on, Blues, just make this game competitive. Even if it is a video game, I don't want to see my Blues get smashed. Okay, back through the middle. Kalen Ponga is around the Blues. Okay, that's dangerous. That is very dangerous. Kalen Ponga, no one even touched him. So, this is where I think Brad Fittler's gone wrong with this side. He really, realistically, should have put the team on Red League Lab 4 and just seen how they worked. You can see on here, it's not working. At the back. Okay, Ferguson, flat footed, gets past the defender. Come on, you had Tom Jaboyevich there. Just draw him past, Fergo. Oh my god, that is a shocking kick. Yep, just kick it straight down the throat of Corey Oates. Once again, come on, Blake, the tackle. Thank you, James Tedesco. Finally, someone tackles him. Oh, that should be an intercept. No, it's not. He, okay, all right, righto, game. Fifth tackle, giving it to Cameron Munster. Puts up a bomb. Okay, Tedesco is going to take this one. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, Tedesco, what are you doing, game? Okay, back through the middle. Okay, this is dangerous. There you go, Dylan Napper. I called it. I said it was dangerous. It definitely was. Dylan Napper scores. And that is Queensland home. They are done and dusted. They've got the win here. 22 to 6. I don't see this happening in game 2 in real life. But bloody hell. Queensland putting on a masterclass here. Corey O's destroying them. Dylan Napper scoring tries. Matt Gillett's got a double. What's happening? It's quite interesting to see the Blues rotation on the bench. It's been pretty shocking, even on the game. That's a pretty good kick by Maloney. Go over the sideline. Okay, he doesn't go over the sideline. Now he's probably going to race away and score. No, thank you. He makes a tackle, but just unlucky. Just even the bounce of the ball's going Queensland's way on this game. But my point with the bench is just the fact that Queensland's forwards have been dominating it, and I think the New South Wales bench is a lot better than Queensland, but they're just not utilizing it. Will that happen in real life? Who knows? Probably. Oh my god, they're running it on the last. Josh Papali. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a joke of a try. Okay, Gaden, he's just taking the piss now. Oh god, Queensland about to put 30 on New South Wales. This is embarrassing. Even for a video game, this is embarrassing. Radio, game underway. Can we just finish this already? Oh wow, what the hell is that pass? Mate, the Queensland player throwing it like he was a bloody quarterback, just throwing it halfway across the field. This game. Oh, another line break. Matt Gillett has got to be the best player in the world. Two tries, line breaks left, right, and center. What a player. Fifth tackle. Come on, Blues. Just kick a field goal, do something. <laughs> Jacob Safidi, or Daniel Safidi, I mean, kicking the ball. Oh my god, that says it all. Oh, up the wing. Safidi, how slow is he? He must be gassed. He must be gassed. Bloody hell, there you have it. 30 to 6. Queensland win this one so easily on the game. This would be tied. In real life, obviously, Queensland would win the series. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen like this in real life. However, I can see Queensland winning this one. Uh, scary sides for New South Wales fans. Not what you want to see. But if last game's anything to go by, New South Wales got nothing to worry about because we predicted a New South Wales victory and Queensland ended up winning, obviously. This time, a Queensland victory is predicted. Will New South Wales win? I bloody hope so. Just taking a look at the stats there, you can see Queensland just decimated the Blues. 20 line breaks to 6. That said it all, really. Completion, 12 for 15. Pretty good for Queensland. But Callum Ponga, man of the match. I think Corey Oates was the best player. 
Um, he made so many line breaks. Matt Gillette scored two tries as well. Right here, guys. That was Rugby League Life Falls version of events. Queensland get the victory. Will that happen in real life? We'll have to wait and see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, guys, leave in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to win State of Origin Game 2? Queensland or New South Wales? Leave in the comment section below. Also, while you're at it, guys, make sure to go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're around here. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke on YT. My Facebook page is also in the description below. Been posting on that a lot more, so go ahead and give me a like there. Also, give me an ad on Snapchat. It's Mr. Luke on YT. Same as what's on the screen right now. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.